Wingy Boxing, IFL TV, in association with MTK Global. I'm here with Lewis Ritson. How are you feeling, man? Yeah, I feel, feel good. good. Yeah, I know about all right performance, yeah, just sort of getting a bit ring rust off and ready for October 13th. Oscar Amador, what do you think of him as an opponent? Uh, wait, a bit negative on he was yeah. just sort of trying to hold on, he was just sort of, you know, I don't know what, what I don't know how to do and you don't want to survive two and a half rounds really to be fair, because he was, he was holding on for the life for after the first 30 seconds, but yeah, it was alright. And talk us for the knockout, the finish, talk me for the punch. Yeah, I can't really remember. He used to throw a jab, I sort of slipped and come back. With I just saw him drop. <laughs> yeah, then he come back with the right hand and left hook, and then he took a couple of steps back and stopped, and like sort of fell and didn't didn't bother getting back up. So, in about early night. I've got to ask you. You've got this uh, this following, this cult following that's building. As I was walking behind you, there's people sort of like Lewis, Lewis. I'm thinking, I ain't gonna be able to get an interview with him soon. No, yeah. uh, it's building. It's building. Do you no have you noticed this this sort of following that's slowly? No, I don't really know. this sort of. We've got my team behind us that I have every fight and so we'll just sort of keep it at that and you know it's nice that people are jumping on sort of jumping on the bar and giving them the support. It all started with the uh, Robbie Barrett didn't it? With yeah. So yeah for, for me that's where you come onto my radar. Yeah Robbie Barrett not many people knew before the Robbie Barrett fight and obviously who put the show on <coughs> put the fight on his show and give her the chance to sort of be on Sky and what I've done and sort of take off since it. Where does that power come from? Well, but, you know it's, it's it, it seems to be real really genuine power do you focus on that when you're training, or is it just? No, I, 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 keep, I keep saying it views. I don't really necessarily think I punch very hard. To be fair, I just sort of I'm nice and relaxed, and sort of just let the punches go. And uh, I could have been more relaxed than what I was tonight. I sort of knew I hurt, hurt me early, and just try to get them out of there, and sort of didn't really stick much to the game plan. But uh, yeah, it seems that every time we hit someone clean, it seems to be hurting them. So we must have a little bit there. <laughs> it's very humble with that. No, no, yeah, it's just, <laughs> It must feel nice though to, um, it's not, because the thing is you do box, it's not like you just rely on the power, you do box, but at some point throughout the fight you seem to just touch these guys and they, and they go, like because Cardo, Cardo come out like a, like a bat out of hell, didn't he? Yeah, he, he did, really yeah, comes yeah, yeah. What, went, what went through your mind when he was running at you like that? No, do you know what, it, obviously I thought I had spar with Cardo quite a lot and I thought he was just going to come box and sort of as Fano had said, I've got a funny feeling he's going to have a bit of a go, yeah, and I, I like he will and he sort of, he sort of didn't, you know, uh, if you can watch the, if you hear the, you can watch the fight back, you can hear Neil saying, shut him down, shut him down. And uh, trying to get close to when he was thrown, I was, and he took a backward step and it looked like I had sort of fell and everyone was, oh, he's hurt, but I was never hurt really. And it was just sort of trying to listen to what he was saying and he come out and but we ended up taking him out. And do you feel bad for old Joe Murray? Come out, he's done being forgotten, Nigel. And, like, oh, look, a... and then you totally starched him. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Talk me through that fight, man. Did you yeah. expect him to come out like um, sort of like as No, as... I didn't expect. We, well, I haven't really expected any of them to come out like that. To be fair, and the sort of the half done, the sort of you sort of played our <coughs> played our cards really, and uh, we ended up getting him out there. But Joe, nah, no, that was a bit bit mental, and he's uh, <laughs> and, uh, the dungarees and the punching <laughs> the gloves and all that. When I was watching it back on the telly, but yeah. I think he got himself far too psyched up for that, and he ended up getting taken out as well. So you got Patera next, haven't you? Patera. Um, what have you seen of him and how do you think this is for the uh, European EBU, isn't it? I watched him bob, uh, be tatly, I, I watched that fight back and uh, he's durable, you can do, you can box on the back foot, you can box on the front foot, you can sort of hold on the inside, you can frustrate, so he's going to be a, like a box of tricks, but me, my dad and Fano reckon we've got the, the keys, the tools to, uh, to beat him and that's what we think we'll do. And if the power doesn't get, because it's going to be some point where it's not going to, someone's going to be able to roll yeah. with those shots, you've got a game plan. To work yeah, around it, you're not just... Yeah, you know, look, like, tonight I could have done 12 rounds that pace easy tonight and, you know, P Patera's a fit lad, so we're going to be even fit and if we need to do 12 rounds, we'll, we'll be fit enough for that. In your own head, do you think I can literally throw a fireball from these hands like Ryu from Street Fighter? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm trying to get it out of you, man, you're so to... humble. <laughs> no, I mean, you know, Neil's my pad man, he takes on the pads, he, he'll be able to tell you, but, you know, we don't... We're, we're just going 12 rounds Monday, Wednesday and Friday on them pads and blast away and Neil takes him out on the body bag so I'm just going to hit that ball unless Neil's <laughs> going to have <laughs> So no, but you know like I say, we, we seem to be doing it one a good little role at the minute and hopefully it'll continue. And um, tell me about your amateur experience. I know you may have mentioned it in interviews before, but what, what, what amateur experience? Uh, 97. 97 amateur fights and 77 wins. So not a bad, not a bad one. 40, I think it was 44 senior and 41 wins, wasn't it? 
Was you knocking mofos out left, right, and centre in the amateur? No, I wasn't actually. That's the thing. But as an amateur, I was fighting at like seventy-one kilo, so I was fighting like a light middleweight. Right. I've come down lightweight as a pro, so okay. getting the getting the fat off as you do. <laughs> getting in there, <laughs> seem to be the power seems to have stuck with. Wicked. Okay, and is the handle right? Is it okay with the handle? No, yeah, it's all right. Just is what it is. Just a bit of bruising up, but I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Lewis, thank you for speaking to Wingy Boxing. Can I have this? Do you want it? Can I have it? You can have it, yeah. When did you wear it into the ring? I wore it into the venue, yeah. I'll tell you what, should we give it away? As a, we can give as it away, price? yeah. I've got loads Can you set it. the question then? What question? Well, just a question. Maybe, um... And then whoever we kind of gets the question right, we'll pick it out. And maybe give this away. It's got actual Lewis Ritson sweat. On it. <laughs> We're not going to wash it. When was Coogan Cassius's first I IFL interview? I don't know. That's quite good if they scroll it's back. It's quite easy to do that actually. They can scroll back, can't they? I think that's good, but first person gets it. Yeah, it? yeah. Alright, boxing one. Because we okay, interviewed yeah. a few. Um... When was the first time you interviewed Eddie Hearn? <laughs> yeah. Well, right, <laughs> a date. We want it's a date it. in the venue. In the time. So the official question is when was the first time Coogan Cassius interviewed Eddie Hearn? Date in the venue. Date, venue. I know. I did. Well, you know? Yeah, yeah. Okay. We can't get that. No, no, no. <laughs> Don't forget, fit me, brother. I have to boil down a bit. I'll wait them as well. Oh, hey. Love hard to see. Because he got me some celebrations oh, yesterday. Oh, it's lovely. I didn't pay for them, I got them for free. But oh, yeah. no, I don't like it. I've got to ask you one more thing. Yeah. When you hear the Geordie Golovkin, what do you think? You've heard that, haven't you? I've heard it, yeah. What do you think? If I can have a punch like him, then I'll be happy. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, uh, no, it's it's a nice it's a nice thing, isn't it? So uh, they get labelled with him, but you know, it just is what it is, isn't it? Lewis, thank you for giving me your time. No really enjoyed the fight, anything. and look forward to your European title fight. No, thank Thanks you for speaking to Wingy Boxing IFL TV. Thank you, brother. No loss.